I'm gonna take over Man City for 10 seasons. The goal is to win as many trophies as possible, build a dynasty, and make City the club of the decade. But the wheel of career mode is back to ruin our lives. Every season, we're gonna have to spin the wheel once, and we'll be getting a challenge to complete. And these challenges can help us win trophies, or it could end up getting us relegated. So let's see over these 10 seasons how many trophies we can win with Man City, and where do they end up on the infamous takeover leaderboard. All right, guys, time for the Man City takeover over this one something you guys have been waiting for because i genuinely feel like we could break all sorts of records with man city because look at their team even if we don't make signings phil foden the machine himself erling holland by the way i'm already making a bet on this holland is gonna be the top scorer in this takeover 100 and let's see if you're not happy with holland you've got julian alvarez who'll score goals for you kdb ruben diaz what even is this team but if there is one thing that can stop us from winning Trophies, it's the wheel of career mode. But first, a quick word from our sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends is what happens if you combine a blockbuster movie with a real AAA game all squeezed into a mobile phone. It's genuinely revolutionary. I don't think I've seen a mobile game look this good ever before. The best part about Raid Shadow Legends is that it's got something for everyone. Whether you love to explore the story of the game and the world and its characters, Raid has you covered. It's got an incredible lore. And don't you worry, this game guarantees you non-stop action and battles. For me, the boss battles are the best part about this game. Facing Hydra demon lord and many more it's so thrilling but yet so much fun to all the new players raid shadow legend is making it even cooler to start playing now raids prepared something special for you it's time to vote for your favorite starter champion download raid shadow legends from the links below copy your in-game player id then go to championselect.playerium.com i'll have a link to that in the description too enter your player id and then vote for your favorite champion this vote runs from january 16 to february 10th and all eligible entrants get the opportunity to win a lot of cool prizes prizes i know you love the sound of that epic and legendary champions in-game items and even amazon gift cards worth up to a thousand dollars so get started once the world ends on february 10th one champion will be crowned the winner and the prize winners will be selected via a random draw but there's more did i mention ronda rousey is in the game that's right she's got her own champion in game and all you gotta do is simply log into the game for seven days and ronda's gonna be straight in your inbox use promo code raid ronda to get some cool in-game goodies but i'm not done yet new players use my link in the description or the qr code that you can see on your screen and get a free starter pack with this cool in-game loot get started on your raid shadow legends journey download now all right guys it's time to start improving the team but before we can of course decide what signings to make let's quickly spin the wheel you guys know the drill five good challenges five terrible ones and the black challenge is the worst possible one what's gonna be the first one that we get i'm not liking this oh it's a green one swap your defense with la liga's best club okay okay Okay, that means our entire backline instantly getting swapped. Okay, that is one aggressive challenge. And as of recording this video, Barcelona are top of La Liga, which effectively makes them the best La Liga team. So we're gonna have to swap our defense with them. Okay, guys, now that I think about it, this does not seem like a good challenge because, bro, I don't want to get rid of Cancelo, Laporte, Diaz, or Walker. They're so freaking good. We're gonna have to take Barcelona's defense. If there's one area of players I do not want from Barcelona, it's 100% their defense. But hey, at least they've got decent center backs and now we've got a choice to make. I think it's pretty clear. We take Jules Gonde and Ronald Araujo. The wheel of career mode has decided it and we have to do it. I'm literally swapping Ruben Diaz for Ronald Araujo. Even this is a good challenge. It's kind of a painful one, but oh well. And there you go. We've got Ronald Araujo coming in. Complete swap deal with Ruben Diaz. And we also swap out our other center back, Imeric Laporte for Jules Gonde. This one's a lot better. I think Gonde is a baller take a look at this we literally just swap them and we still need to replace two of our other defenders okay who do barcelona have for left back i know jordi alba's there Ooh, they signed grimaldo wow barcelona just signed grimaldo but do i really want to take him honestly uh, to be fair jordi alba's 33 he's gonna be a fraud soon balde is too young he's legit too young right now i think we take grimaldo i really think we take grimaldo i genuinely want to cry i can't believe i'm giving Bruh. Marcelo away for grimaldo this this is painful wow 
Wow, looks like things get even worse for the right back position. What is this? We're gonna have to choose between Hector Bellerin and Sergi Roberto for right back? What a joke. Oh my god, Kyle Walker's gonna be replaced by one of these guys. Since Hector Bellerin is 27, I think we'll go for him. And so I complete the signing of Hector Bellerin, I literally swapped Kyle Walker. I can't believe I swapped Man City's greatest right back ever for a literal model, but oh well, it is what it is. And the Grimaldo deal has gone through as well. The wheel of Karim has really done us dirty, and this was the good challenge. Can you imagine how bad it could get in the future? But that's the back line we've got now. We cannot replace any of the defenders this season, but we still have two signings to make to improve the team, and I've got an idea. Foden, Haaland, De Bruyne, Rodri, Silva. They're brilliant. I don't want to change that for this season, but I'm thinking someone better than Riyad Mahrez, maybe? And that someone is Leo Messi. I do not mind having Leo Messi for a while here. Bro, that will be just insane. In fact, in real life, I've been hearing murmurs about Messi to City for next season, but I would love to have Leo Messi at Manchester City, and looks like it's gonna happen. And there you go, boys. We've signed the world's greatest player, the GOAT, Leo Messi for Manchester City. This is perfect. There he is, boys. Pep Guardiola and Leo Messi reunited. You'll love to see that. To be fair, for the price we got him for, 50 mil, it's insane. And honestly, like, I don't think we need to make any more signings. Bro, we've got Messi and Erling Haaland playing together. Bro, he's gonna he's gonna break all sorts of records. That's gonna be our team for the first season. Yes, our defense has been completely changed, but I still reckon we should be winning a ton of trophies. We're at the end of the first season, and the only worry I've got is our defense was completely changed, thanks to the wheel. But Liverpool have finished eighth, which has given me really good vibes. Spurs fifth, West Ham fourth, Man United third. Have we won the Premier League? Yes, we have. And we went invincible in the first season. Bro, what? That might be one of the best starts we've ever had to a takeover. Trust me. I think we're going to break all sorts of records with City. That is trophy number one. Now, we took an L in the Community Shield final. But we do bounce back with the FA Cup. That is trophy number two. No Carabao Cup. But we're still on for the treble if we can win the Champions League. We topped our group. We got through Leipzig. We knocked out Chelsea. We also got through Real Madrid. And now we're up against PSG. Okay, why is our luck so bad both Messi and Bernardo Silva are unavailable for this game that is so frustrating but look at this Araujo and Conde they're already as good as Diaz and of course Laporte brilliant no wonder that was a green challenge we kind of don't have our full squad but can we still win the Champions League with Manchester City no in extra time they beat us this season was going so well but we take a massive L still two trophies in the first season I'll take that Erling Haaland as expected expected 34 goals in his first season went up by three ratings as well okay that might be an even better season than Holland. kdb oh my goodness phil foden did really well too as expected yo M messi not hacking it in the premier league what is that well we'll blame the injury for that one bernardo silva top assister so after one season Holland's our top scorer bernardo's our top assister and we've won a couple of trophies let's see if we can push forward in season two we're heading into season two now and it's time to spin the wheel and already I see more red which means the odds of getting a bad challenge are high. Plus don't forget we've got the bumper bankrupt challenge which if we get, oh boy I don't see us breaking any records then but let's see what our challenge is going to be for season 2. I'm definitely nervous. Don't be bankrupt. Uh, it isn't but no. No, 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 no. This does not look nice. It's red. Change your best player's age to 38. No. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. By the way, I'm already making a bet on this. Haaland is going to be the top scorer in this takeover. One. 100%. Oh no, it, it it really is Erling Haaland. He's our best player. No, no. Haaland's gonna go from a 22 year old to a 38 year old. My sweet prince Erling Haaland, I, I'm sorry for what I've done to you, but you are now literally the oldest player in the squad, older than even Leo Messi. Oh, what have we done? What an awful challenge the wheel has given us. But to be fair, the good thing with City is they already have Julian Alvarez, and I think we're then gonna focus on building Julian Alvarez into the next best player. So we'll put him on development plans and everything. Until then, Haaland, as long as he keeps his overall, will be the main man for us. But anyways, we can now make signings to improve the team. A couple actually. I only want to make one for now because, well, this City team is already so insane. And that one signing is Reese James. Bro, I literally feel like he's the next Kyle Walker. So why not bring him to Man City? And there you have Reese James joining Manchester City. I think it's the perfect signing. We actually had to pay 85 
5.2 million for him and we're still left with a good chunk of money with Reese James honestly this team's looking good and oh my god we just we just spent a few weeks signing a player and Erling Holland's already gone down by one I think I don't want to change the team for this season we'll keep it the same I still feel we can win the Champions League we already won the Premier League last season let's see what we can do this season no way in our second season Liverpool end up beating us to the title uh that's frustrating to be fair I think it's because Erling Holland well Holland kept his overall quite well it was Messi who dropped off by a cliff we didn't even win the community shield what's happening here FA Cup as well no Carabao Cup at least we won that so that's trophy number three but we got booted out of the Champions League by Bay Leverkusen on penalties and here I thought with Man City I'm gonna break all sorts of records but luck has not been with us Erling Haaland's becoming a 39 year old Messi well I, I, I didn't expect this signing to go this bad okay what are their stats so Kevin De Bruyne he's a midfielder for God's sake how has he pulled this off Erling Haaland still scoring 30 goals at this age not bad a lot better from Messi this season he was our top assister Julian Alvarez slowly getting better but ultimately Haaland's still our top scorer and Bernardo is still our top assister but we're on three trophies we need to do a bit better before we spin the wheel for our next challenge I'd appreciate if you could take a moment and subscribe to the channel we're trying to hit 700k and I need your help all right guys the wheel better give us a good challenge this time around because three trophies in two seasons it ain't cutting it let's see what we get this time around this could be decent this could be decent it's a green challenge just what we needed swap a position from the Premier League's best club and the Premier League's best club right now I think is Liverpool oh wait no we're following the real life league tables for these challenges so we're gonna have to stick with that for consistency so it's gonna be Arsenal who we have to choose Liverpool beat us to the league in season two so I thought maybe we can take away Salah from them but nope we're not allowed to do it it's got to be Arsenal who we get a player from now who do Arsenal have that could really improve our team Ooh, Gabriel Jesus back at Man City would be hilarious Martinelli wouldn't be a bad shout but we do have Phil Foden Ossiman wow that's an interesting signing they've made okay I think I found my player I think I found my player let's just do a straight swap between Bukayo Saka and Leo Messi I I'll give Arsenal a 40 year old Messi why not well I I'm sorry Messi's 37 but he's 84 rated I'm willing to do this swap deal I'll chuck in another 50 million to make it feel good they want 80 million but you know what I'm willing to do it L let's get Bukayo Saka into the club why not I gotta be honest this challenge is gonna be of a massive help I was anyway thinking of replacing Messi but this has legit helped us to get one of the best right wingers in the game did you see that goal he scored against United man this kid is unreal and there you go we've completed our challenge we swapped a player from Arsenal also just because we're Man City and we can, I've just spent 65 million on Lucas Paqueta. We've literally just signed an 85 rated player for, for squad depth. That, that's the most City thing ever. But hey, when you've got the money, you've got to spend it to win as many trophies as possible. I think we've improved our team. Saka, Paqueta coming in. We could replace Erling Haaland, but I'm kind of waiting for Julian Alvarez to become better than him because I want to make Alvarez the first choice. So let's stick with this team and I want to start winning some big trophies. Okay, come on now. Ever since we made Haaland an old man, we've just been unable to win the league i think we need to replace him boys because that's the weak link in the team oh my god we we end up finishing third one positive is we do win the fa cup so that's trophy number four no carabao cup though but okay now we're in the champions league final and it's kind of hilarious that we're up against arsenal we took away their hero bukayo saka who's now a 91 rated player for us of course we gave arsenal messi in return but it looks like he isn't starting that is our team bro holland is still keeping his overall pretty decent i think once you turn 40 your overall kind of stays the same i think that's the rumor i've heard but let's see if we can this time win the champions league we've lost one final i can't believe this even in game manchester city keep bottling the champions league how have we let arsenal win their first champions league before us this this is unbelievable no way this could be one of the reasons why we didn't do that well Villarreal swooped in for julian alvarez and he just went up to a 90 overall what am i seeing here what am I seeing here? How did this happen? Bro, I need to sign him back at some point. We, we need to. We absolutely need to. Meanwhile, yup, I told you guys, Erling Haaland, it just wasn't it. It just wasn't it. This is how you stop this machine, boys. It's just making him an old man, and that's just happened. Regardless, Phil Foden stepped up big time. He is now 94 rated, and bro, I think we might be able to get him to like a 99 rating at this rate. KDB again, big season. At the start of this takeover, if you told me KDB was going to be your top scorer, I'd be like, nah. How is he doing this? Bernardo is still top assister. We've just got four trophies 
in three seasons. We gotta step things up. All right, man, we gotta stop playing now. We need some good challenges to help us out. And I think we're gonna get... I, I wanna cry. Why are we so unlucky with Manchester City? These challenges are absolutely brutal. We might not even be in the top three on the takeover leaderboards at this rate. The challenge is to release three first team players. Releasing three first team players. You, you, you get that? Do you know what? That might not be so bad. I think one player we release has to be Erling Haaland. I was gonna use him in a swap deal for Julian Alvarez anyways, but we'll, we'll do this instead. That's one down. We need to release more two players. Who do we go for here? It's gotta be Grimaldo. He's the lowest rated. Alejandro Grimaldo, sorry, you're out. And now we need to release just one more player, but this is where I have no idea who to release. Phil Foden is super young. We're not releasing him. The same with Saka. Bernardo could be in the conversation. As much as I hate to say it, it could be KDB. You guys are gonna rip me apart in the comments, but he's 34. It might be him, because I don't want to release anyone else. I can't believe this challenge. Bro, this Man City takeover is proving to be the most difficult takeover I think I've ever done. I'm releasing KDB, because I feel we can get a better player, and he's super old. I can't believe I've done this. Oh my god. <sighs> We've got two signings to replace and, and save the carnage we've caused. Oh, my days. First thing I'm doing is bringing back Julian Alvarez. Bro, I wanted to use him so bad. I was waiting for him to develop. And instead, he just bounced to Villarreal and then suddenly shot up to a 90 overall. I genuinely don't know how that even works. But let's bring him to, of course, Manchester City. And looks like 140 million is going to work. And there you go. We've got our striker back at the club. A 90 rated Julian Alvarez. We're not going to miss Erling Haaland now. The question now is, do we? invest in a central midfielder or a left back. I'm thinking this Gomez kid, if we put a development plan on him for his defensive stats and everything, Sergio Gomez might end up turning good. Let's give him some time. And so I think I'm gonna go for a midfielder and the player I've chosen is Gavi. Do you know what? From the situation we were in, to replace KDB with Gavi, it ain't so bad, you know. Well, we'll take that. Gavi for 53 million. I'll be the first to say Gavi ain't quite KDB levels, but I think with all that the wheel has given us, I think we've done a really good job. So that's our team for the season. I'm hoping we can get to winning some trophies. Four trophies in three seasons is bad. That needs to change. Well, at least some things don't change. City are Champions League frauds in real life and even in game. We got knocked out in the quarters. Yes, it was PSG. But to be fair, we've been so unlucky in the Champions League. But at least we're back to winning the Premier League. That is a relief. Trophy number five has been secured. Make that six because we finally win the Community Shield. But that's it. We didn't win anything else this season. I still can't believe we've only won six trophies with this Man City team in four seasons. Just the, the luck has been crazily bad. But look at Julian Alvarez. First season playing as the top dog. And oh my goodness, 39 goals. Saka and Foden pulling their weight too. Gavi's been a decent sign and you'll love to see that. Once again, we've got a new top scorer with the chaos that's happening. We're gonna have a lot of different players here. It's of course Phil Foden now our top scorer. Bernardo Silva still the king of the assists and six trophies in four seasons. We gotta be doing better. Wheel of career mode, I need you more than ever to help me out. We're struggling with literally the club with the most money and everything. We need some help, Wheel. And I think we have received some help from the Wheel. Make a random first team player 99 rated. Boy, was I waiting for this one. This could be game changing. Okay, so one of these players in our starting 11 are gonna get a massive boost to literally a 99 overall. I'm kind of hoping we can give this boost to like a young player, like someone like Araujo or Conde would be unreal. Even Sergio Gomez, we'd make him literally the best left back in the game. But if you saw the challenge, it said random. So we're gonna have to spin the wheel and see which player it lands on. Depending on that, we're gonna upgrade our player to a 99 overall and that's not too bad. Ronald Araujo becoming Beckenbauer basically. Let's go. That is so insane. We've now got a 99 rated Ronald Araujo. That is literally the help we needed. And apart from making Araujo 99, we've still got maybe like a couple of signings to make and I think we need to get a better left back. I trusted Gomez but now it's time for an upgrade. I'm gonna try and sign Alfonso Davies to Man City. Our budget's about 250 million so this should be very simple. 100 million, 136, let's just get it done. And there you go, we've got our man Alfonso Davies in the city building. 136 million, we've signed him. Okay 
now. If with this insanity of a team, with a 99 rated player, almost every player being above 90 overall, we don't win the league, the Champions League and everything. Something's wrong with the game then. And okay, that's what we needed. A bit of help from the wheel and we've managed to win the Premier League. Let's go. That is trophy number seven, if I'm not wrong. Make that it because we get the community shield. Okay, things are getting better now. Uh, none of the cup competitions come our way, but the big one, the Champions League, we've made it to the final. Once again, we've got a chance to win the treble. In the last five seasons, we've reached three Champions League finals. Surely we're winning this. Here we go, boys. Here we go. We've got a 99 rated player. Our team is insane. No way we're losing a Champions League final again. And yes, this time we win it. What a relief that is. Oh my God. Trophy number nine has been secured. What a grind. Oh my days. Oh, Julian Alvarez. He's going to fly towards our top score award. Ronald Abramo from center back. We've made him a god. And he ended up scoring 28 goals for us from center back. Oh my lord. Saka did really well. Foden as well too. Bernardo's still racking up the assists. We still have Phil Foden as our top scorer. Bernardo keeps holding the top assist to charts. We're now on nine trophies. We're definitely getting better. Okay, now that we're finally winning trophies, we're winning games and have built like an insane team. Can the wheel please not ruin things? Like our first team is insane. Just gonna invest a bit in backup players and we should be good. But first, let's spin the wheel. All right, guys, uh, we've got a lot of red in here and we've got the bankrupt challenge as well. No way is this gonna land on the bankrupt one. No, it doesn't, but it's a really bad red challenge except the first three offers that come. Oh, just as our team was getting set and ready, this happens. Th that's what the wheel does. This is always what the wheel does. I genuinely want to cry at this point. The first offer is from PSG for Jules Kunde. I, I legit can't believe it. We're getting good money for him, but Oh, we're going to have to rebuild just as we found the team that's working for us. And there you go. Jules Conde is gone to PSG. We're not really getting any other offers, though. It's been a while. Okay, I just as I'd say that, we get an offer for Paqueta. That isn't too bad. It's not a first team player, but it's Spurs that want him. And the next offer we get is for Calvin Phillips. You know what? That isn't all too bad. We also had a loan offer, but we're not counting that. It's, it's fine. We didn't lose any of our top players, so I think I'm okay with it. And there you go. Paqueta is on his way to Spurs. Wait a minute guys. Calvin Phillips is a legend. He legit rejected the club he was looking to join and he's going to stay with us. We did our job of accepting the transfer offer. He decided to stay with us, so that's brilliant. We don't have to let him go. Okay, but now our squad depth has been crushed, so we're going to have to work towards building that up. But we've only got two signings to make. That is a problem. I think I found the centre-back I want to sign to replace Jules Conde. It is Matthias Delic. I reckon if we sign Delic, that's not going to make us feel bad about losing Conde, so, so I'm not feeling that hurt with Conde leaving. I think Delic's a good replacement and we've signed him. That's the centre-back option done, but the problem is we can only make two signings. We've made one already. So I'm putting Delic in there, but we still need more depth. That is where we're struggling right now. Squad depth. What if we sign Mikhailo Modric, a player that can play anywhere in the attack? A lot of hype around him. I don't mind this. What's my man Modric doing at Brighton though? And so we bring Mikhailo Modric. In real life, he's off to Chelsea and everything, but for us, we've got him to Man City for like 56 million. I can't lie, guys. We needed this signing. We needed this so much for squad depth. But that's it. That's our team now for the season. Our first team, as good as it is, we're lacking depth. In fact, I just realized we don't really have a backup keeper. So I'm praying Edison does not get injured this season. We're at the end of the season and we pick up the league title, even with the wheel. Really making life difficult for us. That is trophy number 10. Okay, now we're on a bit of a roll. Trophy number 11. Make that 12 with the Super Cup. So far, we've won everything. 13 with the Carabao Cup. We're on an absolute roll. 14 with the FA Cup as well. We've won everything domestically. No, in the Champions League, we got knocked out by Leverkusen. We really could have won everything this season. But you know what? I will take 14 trophies after six seasons. We've genuinely made an insane comeback. Phil Foden, he does not want Alvarez to overtake him. And bro, what is Araujo even? We've just made him like a god. So right now, Phil Foden is both our top scorer and top assister. And after six seasons... We're on 14 trophies. Take a look at the takeover leaderboards. We're definitely slowly climbing up. All right, now that we've made a massive comeback in terms of trophies, we need to keep that up. So please give me a good challenge wheel. Please be green. 
Please be green. Okay. This is a nice one. Sign the Ballon d'Or winner. It's going to be like, can't be Haaland. It's going to be Mbappe. I wouldn't mind Mbappe at this stage. If it really is killing Mbappe, I have no idea where we're going to play him. Maybe he'll have to be on the bench because of how good Julian Alvarez and all is. Anyways, with the money we have for this season, let's just improve our squad depth. What are we lacking here? We, we, we've got our defense sorted for depth. Oh, we need a backup keeper and we need one desperately. Lunin's always a good shout for a backup up keeper isn't it so we will sign him up just in case we don't face any problems with you know edison getting injured or something like that let's get looning in there you go we used one of our signings to bring in a backup keeper that's super helpful now what i'm thinking is we we have literally no depth in midfield I i'm thinking we could sign maybe like a cam or something to give a bit of depth for bernardo silva because he's 33 Ooh, i like this option a lot chavi simmons would be amazing he's only 25 oh we gotta pay his release loss this sign him i'm doing it i'm doing it regardless and there you go we've got chavi simmons coming in too bro our squad depth is gonna be unreal where's my boy chavi simmons we're gonna put him on as the bench and don't forget we still have to sign whoever wins the ballon d'or my money's on killing mbappe but it could be someone else as well so let's see who wins it the ballon d'or nominees are out and there is no killing mbappe what happened to him guys is, is mbappe too old yo i can't believe it he's 29 95 rated how on earth? Now, because we've got three City players in the nominees and one of them might win, we do get the option to sign the player that isn't from City here. It's Wilk from Bayern Munich. He's got to be a regen. Let's first see who wins the Ballon d'Or and it's Phil Foden who is now 97 rated. Oh my days. Fair play. But let's see who on earth Wilk is. Now, there are so many Wilks over here. Which one's the Bayern one? Gotta say, it's gonna be easier searching this way. There he is. Is Marius Wilk. Oh, wow. He's got to be Robert Lewandowski's regen. 100%. Yup, yup, he is. Wow, that is so cool. And he's playing for Bayern as well. You can't write this stuff. Why does he have low attacking work rates and low defensive work rates? Well, he'll be a good player on our bench now that we have to sign him. Okay, let's negotiate for, of course, Lewandowski's regen and see how much he's going to cost us. 180 million should do the trick. And there you have it. We've got Lewandowski's regen just to be on the bench. Classic Man City. You know what? Just ignore our first team. Look at how good our bench is. We've built a monstrous side. We better win the Champions League this season. Oh my god, that was close. But we just about win the Premier League on goal difference. That's trophy number 15. Spurs had the same amount of points. Less goal difference. Liverpool were just two points off us. We got lucky. Oh, we lost the community shield. What a joke. But make that trophy number 16 because we did win the FA Cup. But it now comes down to this. We just about made it out of our Champions League group. We knocked out Juventus. We destroyed them. Through we go against Napoli. We make it past PSG and we're in another Champions League final. We're right now on 16 trophies. The record is 26. If we want to even get near the record, we'll need to win this game. This is it. The game for trophy number 17. Can we beat Atletico Madrid? The moment of truth. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it. We're so unlucky. I feel like we've lost so many Champions Leagues and if we would have won the finals, this is our third final loss I think. We would have broken the record if we had a bit more luck. Julian Alvarez and Phil Foden getting the job done. 99 rated Araujo is still the GOAT, honestly. How did he not end up winning the Ballon d'Or? Phil Foden still has our top scorer and top assister record, which is crazy. We're now on 16 trophies, three seasons to go. Let's see how far we can get. It's time to see if the wheel's gonna help us out and we do need a bit of help, but there's so much red. I can also see us hitting the bankrupt one. We avoid it I think just about. Let's see what our challenges for this season swap a position from the premier league's worst club aye 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 so southampton are bottom of the premier league in real life right now and that means we're gonna have to swap one of our players with theirs okay i'm looking at my team and i literally don't want to swap anyone the first team is so good okay maybe i can swap edison why i'll tell you edison right now is the oldest player in the team and he's only gonna keep getting worse this might be smart but it really depends what kind of players southampton have and oh they do have a fairly decent keeper. I've never heard of this kid, Andrew, but 
we should sign him unless they've got a hidden gem in their team. But doesn't look like it. Their team is so average. Not one decent player. So we really are swapping Edison, a 92 rated keeper, for an 82 rated keeper. <sighs> I'm an idiot. So there you go. The most stupid swap deal of all time has been done. We have to keep Andrew in the starting 11. But most likely when we sim, Lunin will play. So that's good. Now I'm thinking, looking at my team, what do I want to do in terms of changes? I think I, I want to keep it quite like this. This isn't really a big need for, for, for a signing or something. The team is solid. We've got a great bench. Who can I even sign to improve this team? Maybe a Bernardo Silva replacement, but I think we're still a season away from doing that. So, to everyone's surprise, this season, we're going to keep the squad same and see what happens. You know what? Not having a high-rated keeper and we still managed to win the league, I think that's a small win. 17 trophies now. Add a lovely community shield to it. Make that 18. Uh, no FA Cup. No Carabao Cup. Oh my god. We got knocked out in the Champions League round of 16. You know next season I'm bringing in a ridiculous keeper. Phil Foden. Oh my god. Somebody stop this guy. We've literally made him like the GOAT. Top scorer, top assister. It's all Foden. We're on 18 trophies after 8 seasons. It could be a lot better, but it is what it is. Alright guys, time for the last couple of seasons and if you look at the takeover leaderboards, 18 trophies does not even get us to top 5. To break into the top 5, we need to win 19 trophies. That'll take us level with Man United. Realistically, in these two seasons, I feel we might be able to overtake Liverpool. So 23 trophies, that's where I'm keeping my target. The problem is to even get there, we need to survive the wheel. And there are three challenges here, two of which horrendous. I, I really don't know what's going to happen. So let's see what the wheel gives us. If we can just avoid getting bankrupt, that could be huge. And so far, we did avoid that. And we've actually got a green challenge. So hopefully that helps us. Sign a team of the year player. This is brilliant. So here we have the official team of the year and now we can basically sign any player from here and we'll be giving them their team of the year stats. Bro, you guys have been seeing our team with Bernardo losing his rating. The problem is, like Benzema Messi retired, De Bruyne Modric retired as well. We could sign Hakimi Militao. I'm feeling Bellingham. If we could make Bellingham 95 rated, bro, I'm doing it. Oh, he's 91 rated? Are you kidding me? And so we complete the signing of Jude Bellingham. We had to get him from Liverpool, but he's 91 rated as of now but don't you forget we get to make him his team of the year overall that's what the challenge says and there you go guys we get to keep a team of the year jude bellingham into our team where does he even go i think we put him in here and we'll, we'll, we'll keep bellingham a bit out of position but i think he should be fine just look at his stats maybe we convert him to a cam or something we'll see bro our team is looking freaking insane we now need to sign a good goalkeeper Do you know what i don't want to be playing let's just get the best possible keeper it's donnarumma there you go. Donnarumma signing is done. Just look at our team. We've got everything to win more Champions Leagues, man. My goal for the last couple of seasons is to win it all. Let's hope we can do it. This team deserves to. We really are Premier League merchants, man. That's another title secure. That's trophy number 19. Puts us equal with Man United. Make that 20 because we've just won the Community Shield. Oh, come on. We lost the Cup Final. We did win the Carabao Cup, so that's trophy number 21. I refuse to believe this. How does Arsenal knock us out of the Champions League. Bro, you can do whatever you want with City. They're just Champions League bottlers. We still have Phil Foden just dominating the charts. In fact, increasing his tally. But we're on 21 trophies. We need two trophies to equal Liverpool. Somehow, if we can win five, then we'll equal the record. But it's it's looking tough. We've got one last wheel spin, one last season. If we land on bankrupt, we're going to be modded. But thankfully, we avoid the bankrupt challenge yet again. <sighs> A luck, Steve. Swap your midfielder with the Premier League's worst club. Ay, ay, ay. No, our luck is not decent. I think in this team, you'd classify Gavi as the midfielder because Bellingham's playing Cam. That's that's very lucky. So we can now swap Gavi and bring in a midfielder from Southampton. Ah, here we go again. We got Andrew from Southampton and he was terrible. What kind of a midfielder have these guys got? They've got this Capaldo guy. Bernard. Oh, okay. Chuk Wumeka. Hopefully I said his name Right, we'll shortlist him. Oh, of course, they still have Edison. We could swap him in, you know, that would be crazy. But nah, I, I, I want a midfielder here because I just feel that's the only way. I can't lie. Um, Chukwumeka seems like the only option, but to give away Gavi for him is a bit wild. But the thing is, I might just play Jude Bellingham centre mid and like Chavi Simmons or sign someone else for Cam. That, that's something we're allowed to do. So, oh, I've got to put him in a swap deal. Where's Gavi? Where's my boy Gavi? Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this, but oh well. And there you go. We've got a new midfielder in town. Let's do this. This I said, what I'm probably going to do is have Bellingham play.
play here. Xavi Simmons at Cam. Ah, uh, yeah, but I think we need to sign some players for squad depth, you know. We don't have a single backup centre-back. We don't have a backup CDM. This is bad. L let's make some signings. You know what? I don't even care. I'm just going to try and sign as many high-rated players as possible. Militao is one of them. And there you have it. The Militao deal is complete. We got him for about 50 mil. But also, I signed Amadu Onana and backup CDM. 85 rated. Can't go wrong with that. Oh, bro. Now we've got depth. Now we've got squad depth. Please, let's make it count and win the Champions League for the second time only. And so in our final season, we do end up winning the Premier League. And I'm not surprised at all. At the Community Shield as well, that is, what, 23 trophies now? Ah, oh, no FA Cup. No Carabao Cup. It's looking bad now. We need to win the Champions League to make it 24. We had a group with Madrid, which wasn't good. And Marseille knocked us out on penalties. We're just cursed in the Champions League, man. With 23 trophies, we've now tied Liverpool for third spot in the takeover charts. But I really feel we could have broken the record with a bit more luck. Talking about records, Phil Foden once again takes home all the charts. But also shout out to Ronald Araujo for scoring a ton of goals. But yeah, he was 99 rated. If you enjoyed me building this insane team and taking over City for 10 seasons, I'm sure you'll enjoy this video as well.